This must be Trouser Island. Actually, Mr. Threepwood, it's... Yep, Trouser Island. It's a map on a fan. What will they think of next? I had a map like this once, but I sailed left. Because <laughs> it's a really t okay. okay. It's maps wrapped in maps. I didn't know you could do that. That looks like a treacherous voyage. It says, rating, Cursed Black Diamond. The first rule of piracy is, never buy a used treasure map. Hey Wally, what's with the window ladder? I use it to keep an eye on the neighbors. Well, it's good to have a hobby. Ooh, this one looks nice. How much is it? Oh, that one? Too much. Good old mazes. Can't get enough mazes. It looks expensive. And shiny. I like shiny. Somewhat understated and somewhat overpriced. I try to steer clear of sea monsters myself. I didn't know you made globes, too. I don't. This is for reference. It's got all the latest continents. I appreciate that Wally hasn't traded it in for a new model just because it's been around the block once or twice. I feel very strongly about that for some reason. <laughs> okay, does this model actually work? It makes things look bigger. The voodoo lady said it's my very own, very sh It's a creepy shrunken head with long stringy hair. It's soft and extra fuzzy. It's a creepy shrunken head with long stringy hair. LeChuck, sir. Just thought I'd pop in and let you know. Preparations to set sail are almost done. You have all the supplies for the spell to get to Monkey Island? Check. Squid ink, chickens, brimstone, cinnamon, monkey blood, mint, and an annoying skull. Well done! Mark your Murray! set down for one less lashing this voyage. <clears throat> A funny story. Guybrush Threepwood tried to sign on to the crew. Threepwood? He must be looking for the secret, too. Mm, that guy steals all my best ideas. Have him killed. Wait, let him live. I want him to see me sail off for Monkey Island knowing the secret is lost to him forever. Sure. I want to bring this up one more time. Is searching for this mythical secret of Monkey Island a good idea? Shouldn't we be out terrorizing the high seas, instilling fear, creating mayhem, being more on brand for LeChuck? I've had enough of you questioning my orders. Finish loading the ship, and whatever you do, don't let Threepwood on board. Very well. This is a remaster? No, it's a brand new game. Yep. It came out literally like an hour and a half ago. Yep. Hey, Guybrush! Hey, kid! I can read the serial number. I'll write it down so I don't forget. Hell yeah. Welcome back. Hi. Hello again. It's really clean in here. Do you have a mop Thank I could you use? Long. I simply don't allow filth to accumulate in the first place. Hmm. Try somewhere a little less sanitary, like the bar by the docks. I think I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. Can you make me a key from this serial number? Sure, good choice on the lock. These are really sturdy. It's the same kind they use over at the jail. Oh, wow. <laughs> what a coincidence. I had no idea. Hey, Guybrush. Hey, kid. You look like you're having a good time. That's nice. Otis, the authorities have reconsidered your case and decided that you should go free. 
I'm very grateful to the authorities and will not mention their names should any awkward questions be asked. Good luck, Stan. I hope you get acquitted. Oh, it's in the bag, friend, but thanks. I just realized Stan's doesn't have a number because we melted it off with Grog in the last game. Any writing that was once here has been rubbed away. Isn't that what happened? I'll stay on this side of the bars, just in case. Oh, man. That's awesome. It is so fun revisiting this. I can't, like, hmm. This is for you. You're giving me a frog? It's a forgiveness frog, for when words aren't enough. You haven't even bothered to write anything personal on this frog. That's just rude. I reject your frog. Dear Carla, Sorry for losing the book I borrowed. I admire that you are hard on softness. Please tell people how nice you are. Please accept my humblest apology. I promise to do better in the future. Can we try the frog again? Carla, this is a nice sentiment, and it looks like you even know something about me. One thing. You can do better. I reject your frog. So I think we've missed a hint. So we know it's for Carla. Dear Carla. We know it's about the book. Sorry for losing the book I borrowed. We know that she's hard on on softness. I admire that you are hard on softness. Thing we saw. This this is we haven't gotten this one yet. People probably think she's mean. Maybe. And I know you're really nicer than people say you are. We gotta find Please that one. Please accept my humblest apology. And then this part, I'm not sure. You scare the heck out of me. So we'll have to poke around. There's something else we're missing. Thank you, Freeze. Can we try the frog again? Dear Carla, this is a nice sentiment, and it looks like you even know something about me. One thing. Okay. You can do better. I reject your frog. Oh, the reminder system because we have a, a to-do list. That's a lot of work okay. being governor. Okay, we'll, we'll try that one more time. Then we're, then we're going to look around. Dear Carla, sorry for losing the book I borrowed. I admire that you are hard on softness. And everybody says how nice you are. Please accept my humblest apology. I've implemented a reminder system for myself. This is for you. Dear Carla, hey, Liz. this is a nice sentiment, and it looks like you even know something about me. One thing, you can do better. I reject your frog. You can do better. You can do better. Maybe we can do something to the frog? All right, let's let's keep poking around. Ugh, looks like Carla wasn't too keen on getting her portrait done. Let's go talk to the mop. 
looks sort of like an eye. I think it's a chandelier. Oh, I bet this graffiti is going to be important eventually. The note says, forced to close. Thanks for the memory. It looks like a volcano island with horns that swallowed a basketball. That's exactly what it looks like. Anything over here? Hi, Cobb. Hard to believe after all these years, you're still here. I was declared a historical landmark. Yeah, the place does seem different from what I remember. It's this new, younger generation of pirate leaders. Oh, they're highfalutin dark magic. Look at us. We're so much better than you because we don't drink grog before getting married. <laughs> these kids today are all about sacking and pillaging. They've got no heart. I'm gonna find the secret of Monkey Island. Wanna come? I heard the secret is just some marketing gimmick Stan thought up. That only the gullible and naive would go looking for it. Tell me about Loom. Oh, I'm so sick of pirates asking <laughs> me about Loom. Get lost. Oh my god, dude. So, so much yes. Then why don't you take off the ask me about Loom button? My grog-riddled body has fused with it. I'm more button than man at this point. Oh, come on. Tell me about Loom. For old time's sake. Beat it. Say it. No! Say it. Fine. You mean the latest masterpiece of fantasy storytelling from Lucasfilm's Brian Moriarty? Why, it's an extraordinary adventure with an interface of magic. Stunning, high-resolution 3D landscapes, sophisticated score and musical effects. Not to mention the detailed animation and special effects, elegant point-and-click control of characters, objects, and magic spells. Beat the rush. Go out and buy Loom today. Yes. Now get lost. <laughs> yes. Nice talking to you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, that was amazing. Do you know where I can buy a mop? Buy? You don't want to buy a mop. I think I do. The mop is the formal tool of a cook. Not as clumsy or random as a dish rag. An elegant tool for a more civilized cleaning. You cannot hope to succeed with the mop of another. I can't? You must construct your own. A single perfect instrument that you will keep and use for a lifetime. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Once you build it, the mop will become your constant companion, your tool, and a ready means of defense against spills of all kinds. Uh, build it? <sighs> the wood is the heart of the handle. The heart is the handle of the cook. You are one. Not helpful so far. You must find a particular tree. A tree uniquely suited to the handles of mops. Carve your handle from a limb of that tree. Any questions? <laughs> How do I find the mop About handle 50. tree? I can't tell you exactly where it is, because this is your own personal journey. What kind of wood is the tree? That is something you must discover for yourself. What about the head of the mop? Oh, you have to have one, of course, but pretty much anything will do. It's mostly about hey, the head. Hey, Are you sure I can't just buy a mop? Yours, for example. No, you've got to make one. Trust me on this. Okay, I guess I'll do it. What's wrong? You gave the story the wrong title. It should be called Mop Quest. When do we get to the piratey parts? Well, even the coolest professions involve more mopping up than you would think. I, it seemed crazy to me at the time, too. But don't forget, it was all so I could board a ship, take command, and sail to Monkey Island. But first, I had to make a mop. 
Okay, now after an hour and 45 minutes, we finally are going. It's a book for storing collectible trivia the cards. The actual main island. Looks like someone just left it here unattended. Governor Carla. She's hard on softness. Hi again. Oh, those new pirate leaders are real jerks. They laughed at me. And they won't fund my expedition. Why didn't you warn me? Would you have listened? Of course. Okay, no, probably not. Am I liking the game so far? I am absolutely loving the game so far. My God! I remember when this place used to be wall to wall with sword training gyms. Now there's nothing but trees. Progress. There's a circus here. This was where the fantastic flying Fettuccini Brothers circus used to be. Nothing left but old tentpole holes. Wow, I could have had a totally different future if I'd stayed with them. And then up here was the uh, island that we had to use a chicken with a pulley in the middle. Meat Hook's museum is gone. So is the cable to his island. That's just as well, given the worldwide rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle shortage. It sounds like there's a museum there, so we're going to have to figure that out. Warning. The dark forest ahead is deadly and twisty. Maps are highly recommended. Mm. A classic specimen of Alata needleus, a carnivorous vascular dicot known for its tasteful coloration, slight wiggle, and loads of tiny, sharp teeth. Purple flowers. These must be teasel, or alliums, or clematis. Ew. I'm hopelessly lost without a map. Go this way, go that way. A classic specimen of Alata needleus. A carnip- I'm hopelessly lost without a map. Oh. Oh, I used to love these when I was six. I used to love these when I was six. Until I got trapped in one for two days. I think they're illegal now. Hi there. Welcome to the Melee Island Museum of Pirate Lore. I'm Conrad, the curator and docent here. I also edit the Pirate Times newsletter. Here. Take my business card. Uh, thanks? The museum showcases the largest collection of pirate memorabilia in the Caribbean. Or on Melee Island at the very least. The provenance of each item has been very carefully researched and fact-checked by myself and my team. Feel free to explore. And if you have any questions, just ask. My first question is, is there a number on this lock? Well, the numbers are a little clearer, but still too tiny to read. There's some very tiny writing on it. Okay. Eye patch worn by Captain John Laney, the pirate of a thousand faces. That is a really big parrot. Wonder how many hands it's eaten. What do you feed it? Thieves, mostly. Good to know. It's a working parrot. 
I shouldn't bother it. What was this cinder you've got on the wall? Oh, that. Yeah, that was an unsent love letter written by Elaine Marley while she was governor of the island. What? Elaine? The recipient was referred to only as Plunder Bunny. That's me! It was a really touching letter. Unfortunately, I put the candle too close to it. What did it say? Tell me what she said. Oh, you know, love letter stuff. Honestly, I don't remember a word of it, but it was Thanks, touching. Monkey, Thanks a lot. What's the significance of the peg leg? That belonged to the infamous peg leg Patty. She used to hide a spare cutlass in it in case of capture. Sadly, that's the reason she's no longer with us. That's a nice ore. Oh. The one with the coffin, yeah. The coffin had a lot of water damage when I got it from the voodoo lady in town. But I managed ah, to restore it. It was used two. by a certain well-known captain in a daring escape from a Turkish prison. Uh, the water damage is actually from the swamp on Scab Island. Hmm, unlikely. The prison in question is nowhere near Scab Island. I'm just trying to help. Thanks. I've got it under control. <laughs> hey, no. Yeah. Is this a left hook or a right hook? That once belonged to the dread pirate Meat Hook. Supposedly, he was ambidextrous. Also, he used to live right here on Melee. What's this melted lump of metal? It used to be a mug. It was melted by some kind of acid. Drug. It was found in the Melee jail many years ago, after an incident where like 20 pirates escaped. Hey, I did that. I had to keep pouring the grog from mug to mug because it was melting them. I had an armload of mugs and I juggled them all the way from the scum bar to the jail. Also, I could get Otis to join my crew. Not my greatest decision in retrospect. That's a pretty wild story. You don't believe me? It's not a question of belief. Never mind. It's not important. Oh, it's Kate! What's the story with the wanted poster? That is the earliest known wanted poster for Captain Kate Capsize. You can tell how notorious she was by the huge number of crimes listed there. Very impressive. I got it from a collector on Fat Island. Those are my own crimes, actually. I was pretty much public enemy number one on Fat Island at the time. I stuck Kate's picture on there so she'd get thrown in jail. <laughs> that would never work. Nobody's that clueless in real life. I'm telling you the truth. I'm sure you are, but it just doesn't quite square with the official record. So it's hard to substantiate. Substantiate? You've got an eyewitness. Eyewitnesses are notoriously inaccurate. Human memory is plastic and suggestible. It's not wrong. Not yours, apparently. No, of course not. I deal in facts. That map looks familiar. That's one quarter of the original map to the treasure of Big Whoop. I got it from the cartographer on Low Street. Apparently, he was somehow involved in the search for Big Whoop. About all Wally managed to do was get kidnapped by LeChuck's henchmen. That's not the way he tells it. You should think about hiring a research assistant. Oh, I did. Unpaid, of course. Intern. How on earth do you have that note? Oh, yeah. That's very interesting. That was found tucked inside of a book at the Fat Island Library. It's the actual note left by the ghost pirate LeChuck when he kidnapped Governor Marley. I know what it is. The lookout handed it to me just before I finished my three trials. Uh, I was crushed, but undaunted. I gathered a crew and I sailed to Monkey Island to save her. Not that she needed it, as it turned out. Wow, man, you're really into this. I've got a role-playing group on Thursday nights. This is absurd. It's like this whole wall is stuff from my personal adventures, but somehow I'm not even mentioned in your stories. That's what's so great about this museum. Everyone makes their own connections with the exhibits, and it's highly personal and different for everyone. That's not what I'm trying to say at all. That's okay. You don't need to say anything. Just listen to what the exhibits <laughs> tell you. Fine. It's Cracker Mix. Some assembly required. Which of these ingredients is not needed to get to Monkey Island? The original Monkey Island was first released on... Which of these is not in the park?
shipyard. Oh, we gotta get Stan's toothbrush. Wow, that's worse than I imagined. It says, Tan's previously owned vessels. So sad. Stan's used to be the best place to buy used ships. The window's all boarded up, and it's very dark in there. Is that an old toothbrush? The assets of this establishment have been seized to settle a class action lawsuit. Have a nice day. I don't want to wreck my brand new shiny knife. I remember when these torches lit up Stan's previously owned vessels like a carnival. It's a dried up old sea sponge. Stan used this to clean his ships. It's all rusted out now. Stan used this to clean his ships. It's all rusted out now. There was a time when every mooring would Wait, be filled with one of Stan's card? used ships. Yeah. What's the name of the roguish pirate in Herman's favorite book? Cop says, I really want to play it since it's Ron Gilbert, but I can't get over the art style. Honestly, it'll it'll grow on you. It, like, at least it did for me. It definitely, it definitely grew on me. Um, it always looks bigger on this side of the island. Yeah, I, I get it. It's it's not going to be for everybody. I didn't think it was for me at the beginning, but it is now that I've been playing it for about an hour, two hours now, um, it's certainly not removing anything for me. Okay, so we've officially been everywhere. All right, so we need to go talk to a Buddy about a map. We need, oh wait, is our thing catching up? Yeah. We got to we got to figure out how to make the key look more in the key. We got to make the mop. We got to find the tree that's probably going to be in the forest. Okay. Hey Wally. I'm looking for a tree to make a stupid mop from. Have you got a map for that? So the cook has sent you on one of his spiritual journeys. Been a while since I made one of those mop tree maps. What kind of tree is it again? I don't know. A wood one? That's okay. Just bring me a sliver of the wood and I can work it out from there. I'm that good. Bye. So let's go to the cook area and use the knife on his mop to see if we can get a sliver of wood off. Oh my god, I love that we're like solving puzzles again. Who are you? Hi. Are you my waiter? I want the excellent dish I had at the governor's mansion last week. I... I don't know what it's called, but it was sort of, you know, a hot food. Yeah, but I'm not... It had ingredients in it or something. I'm not your waiter. I already told your incompetent cook this, but he still hasn't brought me my dinner. I don't work here. I'm not a waiter. Hop to it! Uh, right away, sir. <laughs> Fancy. Waiter, I can't understand why this is taking so long. Just bring me what the governor served me last week. Of course, sir. Sorry for the delay. Okay, maybe we can go talk to the governor about that? Is there anything new with you? Are you sure I can't persuade you to back my expedition to Monkey Island? Let's pretend I was really considering this. What sort of pirate qualifications have you got, exactly? I defeated the ghost pirate LeChuck several times. Super ironic that sailing with him is the only way you're getting to Monkey Island. Well, I was a director of combat operations for the British Navy, and I've written two books on ship-to-ship -ship tactics. I'm a founding member and co-director of the Red Fleet and hold records for civilian casualties from San Domingo to Venezuela. I'm an expert in 17 forms of hand-to-hand -hand combat, three of which I invented. I served with Bellamy, Teach, and Roberts before they each met an untimely end that I might have had nothing to do with. Just so you know, 
this is the kind of resume we expect. Oh. Nice and hot. I wonder how long I could stand here before bursting into 